Let's do some MCQs in the chapter statistics. So let's start with it. The mode and mean is given by 7 and 8 respectively. Then you have to find the median. Now basically this question is based on the empirical relationship between mean, median and mode. So what is the formula guys? The formula is mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean. 3 median minus 2 mean, right? So you just put the values over here. Mode is given by 7. 3 median minus 2 mean is given by 8. So over here, what is the value of median guys? If you simplify and solve this equation, you'll get median is equal to 16 plus 7. 23 by 3. So this is the value of the median over here. I hope it is clear to you. Let's do the next question over here. The mean of this following distribution is given by 2.6. You have to find the value of y. So let's do it guys. Now what is the formula to find the mean? Mean is sigma fi xi upon sigma fi. Now you see this is not grouped frequency distribution table. Therefore, we are not using assumed mean method or other method. So it's just not grouped, right? So mean is equal to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi. Now you see fi is already given. These are xi's. You have to find fi xi as well, right? So fi xi over. Let's do it. 4 1s are 4, 5 2s are 10, 3 y, 4 and this is 10 again. Let's check it once, 4, 5 2s are 10, 3 y, 4, 5 2s are 10, right? Now you have to find sigma fi xi, what is sigma fi xi? It will be if you can, if you can add, so it will be 3 y plus 28. Now in the denominator you have got sigma fi, let's add the frequencies, you will get So it is y plus 12 and this is equal to 2.6. You have to find the value of y over here. So this is a simple equation over here. Let's do it. So let's cross multiply. So you'll get 3y plus 28 that is equal to 2.6y plus 12 into 2.6. So if you uh, take it over here, you'll get 0.4y. And that is equal to, if you do multiplication over here, 26 into 12, let's check it, what is that? 26 into 12, so that is equal to 312, right? And this is 31.12 it will be. So 31.2, sorry, 31.2 minus 28 you have to do. So what will you get over here guys? Uh, 3.2 over here, right? So you can cancel out decimal over here. So you'll get y is equal to 4 8s are 32. So the value of y over here is 8. I hope this question is clear to you. Let's take the next question. You have to find the upper limit of the modal class. Now this is a very simple question. What is the modal class guys? The class interval having maximum frequency. So as you can see over here, the class interval having maximum frequency is 20. The class interval having maximum frequency is 20 over here. So the upper limit of this class interval is 20 as well. So therefore, 20 is the answer. I hope it is clear. Let's take the next question. The difference of mode and median of a data is this. Then you have to find the difference of median and mean. So again, this question is based on the empirical formula only, but it is a bit twisted. So the formula is mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean. This you already know. 3 median minus 2 mean. Right or not? But it is given in a different manner. Difference of mode and median is given. So can I write it like this? I can write it mode minus median. That is equal to 2 median. minus 2 mean. I can do like this. You see in place of 3 median, I can write uh, 2 median plus 1 median and 1 median can be taken over here. So mode minus median is equal to 2 median minus 2 mean. Now the difference of mode and median is given. 
26 mode and median the difference is given to be equal to 26 now can i take 2 as common on the right hand side so it will be 2 into median minus mean so you see median minus mean will be what guys 13 and in the question also it is being asked you have to find the difference of median and mean so the difference of median and mean is 13 itself i hope this question is clear to you let's take the next question for the following distribution you have to find the sum of the lower limits of the median and modal class sum of the lower limits of the median and the modal class so uh, first you can tell what is the modal class over here the class interval having maximum frequency is the modal class so the lower limit of the modal class is 15 that is very simple now in order to find the median class you know that you have to find the cumulative frequency right so suppose i'm finding cumulative frequency over here i hope it is clear we are finding like this so this is 10 over here 10 plus uh, 15 25 and this will be 37 47 uh, I'm sorry, it will be 57, right? <clears throat> 57 and then 57 plus 9 will be what? 66. So basically, the sum of the frequencies is the last cumulative frequency. This is sigma fi. We have to find n by 2 over here, right? That is 66 by 2, that is 33. Now, what is the median class? The class interval having cumulative frequency just greater than n by 2. So the cumulative frequency just greater than n by 2 is what? That is 37. The cumulative frequency just greater than n by 2 is 37. So basically this is the median class. The lower limit over here is 10 and the lower limit of the modal class is 15. You have to find the sum of 10 and 15. So that the answer is 25. I hope it is clear to you. So that's all about MCQs in the chapter statistics.